Welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, tonight I'm going to marinate these big jumbo 16 to 20 count shrimp. Um, I'm going to marinate them in a, hal or in a cilantro and lime and put them on skewers and then I'm going to baste them until they just get a caramel coating of the habanero jelly that I'm going to finish making. So I thought I would use my time here while I'm waiting on that to get these cleaned and deveined. You can buy them already done, but these were nice uh, wild caught prawns, so I decided I'd do it myself because it was a good enough buy. So you just cut down that center back and there's a vein of not so good. You just don't want that in there. It's dirty. Just pull that right out. And I'll wash these and get them ready for the skewers in their marinade. And I'll show you that marinade when I come back. Okay. Alright YouTube, I'm back. Um, I'm making the marinade. I'm going to marinate my shrimp. And I've got my cilantro all chopped up. Um, save you the pain of watching me chop cilantro. Yeah, you, know, you know, I didn't measure it. I just enough is enough. This is pretty much that same marinade that I used the other night. Uh, only I am going to use garlic instead of just garlic infused olive oil. So about a third of a cup of olive oil. That's going to give all of this somewhere to go. And a couple spoonfuls of garlic. Can't have too much of that, right? I cannot wait for this. This is going to be so amazing. I, uh, my habanero jelly is gorgeous. It tastes fabulous. It's going to make this shrimp pop. So I'm going to get this the juice out of these. I had you cut this lime earlier. So I'm make sure I get the juice out of that. We try not to waste anything around here. You know, if I can't find a use for it, um, well, sometimes my animals can. The chickens take care of a lot. They don't even really have a need. Um, I got a vest first, but I don't really even have a need for the uh, compost pile most most of the time because. Um, they eat everything between them and the rabbits, and I've really got them spoiled. I, I should probably not do that, but I can't help it. They get fresh vegetables and fruit every day. I just think, I don't know, it would be pretty boring to have the same exact diet your whole entire life, so. I guess it's because I'm a foodie. So. That's the two, well, actually one line is probably good. I'll um, go ahead and juice this one. I'm going to roll it. It doesn't feel as juicy as some I've had lately. Yeah, not so much. So we'll probably add some bottled juice. Let's see what this one does. better. Okay, so got my shrimp in there. That's really all it takes for this. And I'm going to let it sit out here on the counter with this marinade in here and um, really soak it up for about 20 minutes. And at that point, then I'll have the barbecue all heated up and ready to go, and I'll skewer these and get them on. And I'll be back. So before I get skewering my shrimp, I wanted to show you uh, the fruits of my labor here the last couple of days. Um, I just love canning. I'm addicted to canning. But I've got the pepper jelly, the pineapple jelly, and the... Um, 
jalapeno jelly. And they all set up really nicely. I don't know if you can even see it move. That one ain't moving. There we go. Starting to move. It gelled. I was a little concerned with that one. I don't know. Let's see. It's this one. Yeah. How nice that is. Ugh. And of course the habanero is still warm. But I am going to use it to uh, base my shrimp with. So I'm going to get started on skewering my shrimp. Okay, so I've got my shrimp here. It's been marinating for about 20 minutes out here on the counter. That's, that's the way I do my fish and everything. It's just a, enough time, you, you know, the lime, the citrus in here starts actually cooking the fish. And so that's plenty of time. And my bamboo skewers that have been soaking in water for a couple hours, so they won't burn. They're right there. And I'm just going to dig in and start curing these. So what you want to do is get a piece of the fat end and a piece of the skinny end of your shrimp. And I don't know how many, let's see, this was a pound and it was 16 to 20 count, I believe, was the how many per pound. So we'll see what we got here. So. Aren't those pretty? Just nice. And the oil will keep them from sticking to the barbecue too badly. Um, grill. I'll set that aside. I think I'm going to have three skewers. I'll have some tonight and then um, tomorrow for lunch. Oh my goodness, I hate those things. I've got the doors open and so every once in a while there's a fly just because I can't I don't want to run my air conditioner all summer. It's just not okay. And it really was in the 80s today, so it's comfortable. So I apologize for those that have a fly phobia. I just have a fly phobia when they land on me. Okay, so three, yep, it's going to be three nice skewers to do. If I was gonna, if my husband and I were having dinner, we'd probably do a pound and a half so one of us could have lunch, like I'm gonna have tomorrow. Um, just because a half a pound of shrimp is quite a bit. So, so that's all there is to it. I'm gonna go stick this on the barbecue and toss this out. And I'll bring you out there with me when I. Um, when I get to a point where I'm going to uh, go ahead and um, baste these, okay? So I'll be back. All right, we're outside now. Sorry if I'm moving, but that's just the nature of this beast. I have my, my pepper jelly right here. And I'm going to try to single-handedly, whoops, baste this. You just want to lightly baste it. Um, you don't want it to fire up because this grill is really screaming hot. And I'm going to get the pepper jelly on this side and I'll turn them here in about two minutes. It's really only going to take two or three minutes per side. And shrimp is um, God's fast food. All right, be back. Okay, I'm back and my dinner's ready. Got this beautiful. Uh, skewer with all these shrimp on it and some squash that I got at Farmer's Market. I also have some brown and wild rice underneath that. So I've already taken a bite, but I couldn't resist. These are magnificent. I'm going to take another bite. Mmm. It's sweet. This would have been fabulous with um, like pineapple chunks in between the shrimp and um, just dust it maybe with some coconut even when you're done but it is phenomenal I hope that you try this I hope it inspires you mm. have a bite of this and I'll be on my way mm. and I love these little these are the flying saucer squash I just steam them in a steamer bag in the microwave um, they're absolutely fabulous. I can take a bag of zucchini or something like that to work 
and um, steam it up really fast with some rice and shrimp or fish. You don't even have to have that stuff all cooked. It just cooks right in the bag. But that's how I did it tonight. So it's nice and easy. This is a really light and healthy meal. I hope it inspires somebody to step outside their box and try something new or something that they may not have tried before. And I hope if you like these videos, you subscribe to my channel and rate them. Anyways, I'll see you later, YouTube.